creating costumes for your next theme party for under $30. You're made to be hot and cheap. Caution, I'll break your heart. We've reached our belief quota for the year. <laughs> What's up, you guys? Welcome to Clever Style. Hello. Guys, this is such an exciting day because as you know, college is back in session. So and after try. the shit year you guys had, I'm sure you are all <laughs> ready to party! Gonna go down to the river! Yes, I'm definitely ready to party and I don't even go to college, but you know, I do remember the two most important things when it comes to partying in college, right? Yes. So you gotta make sure you look hot and you gotta make sure that you find an outfit that's super, super cheap because you gotta save all them coins in college. Yep. And over at Clever Style, we really relate to that concept of finding outfits that are hot or cheap. You yeah, guys know sure. we do a lot of videos where we thrift or we find stuff that are more inexpensive or DIY. Today, we are going to show you four different costumes for your upcoming college theme parties and all of these costumes are under thirty dollars, we want to help you insane. out. We know you need money for other things, True. and we don't need you to spend all your money on a costume. So Best. we're here for you. First, we're going to be doing a throwback theme. Second, we're going to be doing a Christmas theme. Third, it's anything but clothes, which should be very interesting. <laughs> and then fourth, you know, we always got to throw in a little wild card in there. Wild, wild card. card. <laughs> I'm so excited. Some of these themes we literally did. One of these themes in particular is not my favorite. You'll have to keep watching to figure out which one it is. Are you guys excited? Like, what's your take on all of this? I'm very excited. Yes, maybe I didn't go to college, but I'm all about a good theme party. You yes. know what I'm saying? I think when we went to college too, it was all about the Facebook album the day after. Oh my god! Okay, so those were the days. This was pre-social yeah, media. Those were the days. Aging ourselves. It's but fine. you know what? It looks I funny. think we're still gonna look great in these costumes, I think yes. we're gonna give you guys some great ideas, totally. so let's go party. Let's party. Thank you, London girl power. You know what? I'm calling your mother. Yeah. Party one we're hitting tonight on campus is the throwback party. Whoop, whoop. And I have a sister who recently graduated from college, so I kind of went to her and was like, hey, are these the themes the kids are actually doing? <laughs> How do you do, fellow kids? I went right to the source, okay. and what we would traditionally call like a decades party, they now call a throwback party. We are going to a 90s party, obviously, but you can choose any decade. So you can do 90s, 80s, 70s, Renaissance, cavemen, kind of whatever you want, but I'm really glad that we chose the 90s for this one. For my costume, I went with the iconic Ginger Spice Union Jack dress, because it doesn't really matter how old you are, you know the Spice Girls, totally. and you know this exact Dress. You know, we are on a budget, the $30 of it all. And so I was like, what is one piece that I can have where yes. I walk into the room and people are like, you are Jerry from yes. Spice Girls. Yes. So this dress is from Amazon and it was $20. So you do have another 10 if you wanted to, you know, get some shoes. Maybe buy a lipstick. I just put like a really big red lip on if you want to have a fun microphone. But I just went with the dress for now. And then these shoes were actually in the clever closet. I won't lie to you guys. But any boot, any black, white, sparkly boot mm -hmm. will do. Borrow them from a friend. Look in your own closet because honestly, at a college party, your shoes are going to get Get it's yeah. so true. That's so, so true. Don't spend a lot of money on your shoes. I've lost shoes. I've broken shoes. Like, learn from my mistakes. So that's my look. I love it's it. It's so and cute. Another pro tip, you guys, because it's from Amazon, when you're done with it, freaking return it. Whoop. Unless you have like another party Whoop. the next weekend for a friend, freaking return it and get Whoop. your money back. Amazon has enough money. Like we said, I, we all went with the 90s and classic 90s is definitely clueless. And I had to go with Dion just because it was just easy and I felt like I could put an outfit together yes. for a really good price. I actually yes. got a purse, a skirt, a top, and a headband all for $28 from Shein. That's amazing. So I knew the headband was crucial in order to put the look together. And then I had my coffee, not included <laughs> in the price, but I felt like it's just very much like clueless. Yes. Obviously this look is very specific mm -hmm. and it's exactly what she wore. Yes. So I was like light blue shirt, white collar, <laughs> plaid skirt, blue with brown. Yeah. I didn't she in and found the exact same one. So I feel like Sheena is a good place if you want to completely duplicate a look. And honestly, like the outfit it comes so together. Cute. I you love it. Wear all of this many a time. Yeah. yeah, and that's the best part about yeah. it too. After the whole clueless throwback party where I'm Dion. Yes. I can go ahead and wear this skirt again. I can wear this top again and I can take this purse out. Oh, of love. course, gotta have the Cheetos. It's the I'm best dead. accessory because when 
you've been drinking at the college party, you had too many shots, you need boy. to soak up all that alcohol and Cheetos. Cheetos is the way to go. Cheesy. The one thing I will say though, you have to plan ahead if you're planning for your costume party because Shein does take a while to ship. Yeah. So plan ahead, put your orders in, but the good thing is you're gonna get a lot for a little. She's nice. We got to talk about Madeline because she is serving hot Britney Spears. Oops, she did it again. Oops, she killed that outfit. Oops, yes, she did that. <laughs> I'm just saying, you look amazing. It's so my good. My pure hype woman. Thank you so much and God bless. Fun fact, I owned 80% of this outfit. Skirt, I actually got in a recent thrifting video with Clever. Top was something I got from Pretty Little Thing, Little it's Bralette. Impressive. Only things I ordered for this outfit were the iconic gray cardigan. Like this color gray is Britney Spears' baby one more time. And then the pink, <laughs> that was it. That was all I had to buy. These are so, that's so like really to. took it over to yes. the next level. Yeah. Well, I figured like if you wanted to do something kind of more inexpensive, but you wanted people like you were saying to just know exactly who you were when mm -hmm. you saw that person. Like this is very early days of Britney nostalgia. And I love that majority of this outfit you already own. And yeah, I feel exactly. like that's so important when you're putting together a last minute outfit and you don't want to spend that much. Mm -hmm. Use what you have in your closet and then build around it. I yeah. think we killed this throwback. We show. really did though, you might be seeing us on a college campus near you. Listen, oh girl power! Happy holidays and Merry Christmas. Welcome to our Christmas themed party now. I know it's a little confusing. Like what <laughs> Christmas party are we going to? This is a Christmas party where we are all dressed like different Chris's. I hope it's obvious where, where I am over here, but I am Chris. Christina Aguilera. Yes, yes, you are. Yes, yes, <laughs> okay. yes. This is like the ex Tina dirty mm -hmm. phase when she was like, I'm not Mickey Mouse Club. And that was really fun for me because I already owned like half the look. I was like, wow, I'm more Christina in her dirty phase. I, I already own <laughs> okay. the pieces. I found this photo of her. It was a red carpet look where she was just very like going through that phase. And it was so fun. I already owned the skirt, the top I owned from Princess Polly. I basically just bought the hair extensions, which I think really make the look for uh, sure. Thousand percent. Like it mm -hmm. adds that extra. Uh, Listen, Madeline came walking out here and I was like, are you kidding me? She's like completely transformed I into like a whole other genre. I got these nose rings on Amazon. They're fake, $8 for like a pack of five of them, which is great. This hat was so 2000s. <laughs> it is completely 2000s, the extensions and the hat. I'm like, holy crap, this is amazing. You're like made for this. No, yeah. I know. <laughs> Truly. No, she I, is. I'm made to go back to college. Like I've never. You're made to be hot and cheap. <gasps> hot and cheap. Yes. Hot and Cheap. Uh, Hashtag hot and cheap. Thank you. I know what Jackie's from, but I don't know what you are from, Bridget. Oh, I know. Because it's spot on. <laughs> it is spot on. Introduce yourself. I am Mr. Christopher Evans. Then we yes. have a lot in common. Ooh. He is from Boston. I am from Boston. He's so beautiful. Like he's just the best man ever. <laughs> he's so like he's just, I don't know, call me Chris. Of course, when you're thinking Chris Evans, you're thinking Captain America. Sure. For me, that's way too obvious. And those costumes can be very expensive if you want to do it right. And if I'm gonna dress up, I'm gonna dress up and do it right. So I'm Chris Evans from Knives Out. If you've seen the movie, he's wearing the iconic cable knit sweater that men and women just like melted in their seats watching while he was wearing it the whole <laughs> really? time. I know I did. And I think everyone might have something like that in their home. So a lot of these pieces I actually own. Yeah. So I owned this sweater, jeans I owned, boots I owned, and this scarf I owned. Oh, oh, oh and these glasses I owned. And the jacket is really tying together the yeah. outfit. If I were yeah. to just wear this without the jacket, I don't oh, think no, you would no, know. No. And this was a staple in that movie, like exactly. him wearing that jacket, that was a staple. Yeah, when they're yeah. like walking up, this is exactly what he's wearing. Yeah. So I was able to find a similar jacket at Forever 21. And this was my whole budget, this was $30. But again, one mm -hmm. piece to tie everything together the glasses, and you definitely have a scarf. You definitely have jeans, like wow. any type of shoe will do. I just wanted to put a little heel to it. I think this is a good idea for someone who's not necessarily into costume parties. Right. Mm. But they want to still participate because you don't want to be like the dud. You need to say the line to camera. We could bleep it out, but you need to say the epic line. <gasps> eat shit, eat shit. You definitely eat shit. Eat shit, eat shit, eat shit. We've reached our belief quota for the year. You gotta do this more right. often. <laughs> okay, well listen, Kristen Dunst, not Kirsten. For the sake of this video, her name is Kristen Dunst. <laughs> That's it, get out of the car, I'm gonna kick your ass. How great is this? Ah, it comes with freaking pom-poms. I need a routine though. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do the routine, but let me just like talk about the outfit first. Okay. You know, I gotta really finger, amped finger. it up. I love to do acrobatics. You know I love to do cartwheel oh, yeah. splits. So this costume is only $28. Oh, perfect. And the Amazing. quality is 
actually really good and it's really yes. spot on. And the actual design is very similar to their uniform. Hey, when you go into any college party, you do want to be like the main focus. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You want to like you be will. the main character. <laughs> so, oh, 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 okay. Turos, we're popular to boot. Woo, 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 woo. Oh God, Yay! I want you on the squad. The next party that we are about to go to is an anything but clothes party. And let me tell you, you have to get crafty and you have to get really creative and think outside the box. The only rule to this is you can wear anything but clothes. Now, follow me with my costume here for a second, okay? okay. I was like, you know what? I wanna bring the snacks, I wanna bring the treats yep. to the anything but clothes party, right? Yep. I was like, how awesome would it be if I just showed up and nothing but candy all over my body? With that being said, <laughs> how am I gonna stick <laughs> candy on my body and let it stick. So I had to get a little creative and mm -hmm. put on clothes. The idea was to be wow. completely covered in candy, but this already took me, I want to say like 40 minutes. Yeah, what? the dictation was there with the patterns and the colors, you guys. I really, crazy. yes. It started off at the top where I was like, okay, line, line, da, da, da. and then it, I just was like, all right, wow. at this point, glue, glue, glue. Shout out to the glue though, like for holding these yeah. balls up. These are heavy candies too. Listen, I was actually really surprised. I was like, there's no way I'm going to lose a gun drop, but they all stuck on they surprisingly and they're on there. How cheap is candy? It's very cheap, and that was the thing. Oh. I think the top and the bottom ended up being around like $15, and then I spent the rest on just huge bags of candy. Yeah, see? So it was really cheap. And this is the candy nobody wants. It's like the, the like exactly. cheap mm -hmm. 10 cents. Because if it was the good candy, then you'd probably be mad. Good day, sir! Guys, here's the thing. As much as I am a creative soul and I love a thrift and a project and whatever, I hate ABC parties because I'm like, no, like I, because I, uh, it's a whole thing. Like, and if you're with me, you just get it. I always find the easiest thing to do. So what did I do today? The same. I basically went and found this yellow bandeau on Amazon because it's like anything but clothes. Okay, well you're really risking it all if you're really not gonna have like a yeah, base. Like, truly. Like your best bet is to have a base. So I was like, okay, I kind of had to go online, get some inspiration for like lazy girls guide to ABC costume, yellow bandeau, caution tape. It worked. It. Yeah, you got the point across. I love that you're pulling other items from your other costumes yeah. and bringing it to this well, one. Well, cause like I'd really have to think about it. Let's say I was going to this party and I'm like, okay, my thing is I'm dangerous. You'd want, you want to look dangerous. I'm yeah. dangerous. Caution, mm. caution. nose ring, mm. lack extension. Caution. I'm toxic. Caution, I'll break your heart. <laughs> Bridget, we need to talk about Yeah, it. no, because Bridget, uh, this is amazing. <laughs> amazing. You, you look so good from head to toe. Head to toe. Thank well, the shoes guys. are so hot. Yeah, Thanks. they're so perfect. So I actually own these shoes. They just happen to match the bag. I kind of went the traditional route of like tying a bag around yourself. The but, traditional route? Well, I wanted to go like the bag route, but I wanted to make it a little more dynamic than wrapping it around myself. Yeah. So mm -hmm. at Target, I got two of the giant bags ah. and I cut them on the sides and then I glued them together. So it's the same bag, but it says the same thing on the front and the back, this but it's just tied cool. together. So good. And I'm wearing a bodysuit underneath I this. was just about to ask, I'm like, what's underneath this? <laughs> oh, yeah. But Wait. I put this here to cover the straps this of my amazing. body suit. This is amazing. And like, yeah. you have a present here. Like I said before, if I'm going to a party, I'm going to go to a All out. Yeah. party. So then I had a headband, bought cheap candles, and just it's so glued good. them to the headband. I bought two bags just because I wanted more room, but I could have yeah. fit in the one giant one. So right. it just kind of depends No, I love you that you did no, this. No, this is so fun. Everything is so It's special. so epic. We all have different levels of DIY like represented here. You can wrap yourself around, you can glue candy on you, or you, you can know? like just be extra and then feel like you can put your arms down and might want to leave the party because you're not the cool girl. But I'll always have a cool costume. Yeah, that's Ooh. right, Bridget. You sure will. I'm proud of you, you know that. We have made it to our wild card round. Wild card. And for this one, we each picked a theme that we actually did in college. So my party is called Champagne and Shackles. Oh. And I did this party for my 21st birthday. Oh, oh fun! Yeah. So before we go on, Clever does not condone underage drinking. Before you're 21, <laughs> we will enjoy any type of beverage with you but alcoholic. Please be 21 to participate in this party. So the premise of the party is you bring a bottle of champagne with you, okay. and then you also bring a shackle. So you can have these handcuffs, you can have a tie, but these were on Amazon for $10. So you get to the party, you put everybody's name in a hat, and you pull out two names at the same time. You guys are partners, you're shackled together, 
until you both finish your bottle of whatever you bring. That sounds miserable, Bridget. I don't it, want to be shackled to anybody on that. Honestly, it could be because if you don't know the person, yeah, it's awkward. literally like, which way are we going? Like, what are we doing? But I happen to know who I ended up being shackled to is my friend G. Okay. Um, and so we were actually the first to finish. It was my 21st birthday. Okay. I wanted to get to the bars. So, you know, we really had to chug what we brought. But it's really fun because you can wear whatever you want. So if you want to dress up, I did for this one. Yeah. And then this bottle was 15. There's definitely cheaper bottles of champagne out there. And again, it doesn't have to be champagne, your drink of choice. It doesn't have to be alcoholic. You can drink whatever you want. Mm -hmm. But you both Ooh. have to finish before you can unshackle. And I it mean, was just so fun. I'm going to Zoo New Year's Eve. Zoo New Year's Zoo, Eve. Zoo, okay. Zoo New Year's Eve. So it's basically just anything that you interpret from like a zoo. So obviously I'm, you know, uh, a cheetah. But or is it a leopard? It's a leopard. It's oh. a leopard. Definitely not a cheetah. I'm a leopard. We are very sorry to the leopard community. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Cheetah community. I know. Wow, that you guys Super are triggered. totally, yeah, we're all triggered. Oh my God. A cheetah's a cheetah, a leopard is a leopard. Do not put them underneath the same umbrella. This is my go-to last minute outfit because you can never go wrong mm -hmm. being a cat. I always like it. I think there's something really sexy about animal print yes. and it's super cheap. I got this from Fashion Nova and it's so <laughs> simple. You can get cat ears and like a big tail for less than $10. Mm -hmm. And it's just always something that you could put together and you look like yeah. you're a part of a theme. You don't spend a lot of money and it's still like, Kind of sexy and so cute, sexy. you know? Yeah, it's oh. like I'm really trying, but it all was like super fast. But being yeah. a cat is like jeans. It's gonna be classic. It's never gonna go out of style. From yeah. 20 to 29, I was a cat every year for Halloween, a <laughs> different know. type of cat. So I'm all here for this. The theme party I'm going to is ugly Christmas sweater. Woo. I have been to these every single year. I mean, we did these in college. You do them every holiday. I just think it's really fun to go online and see the tackiest of all the mm -hmm. holiday sweaters. There's so many to choose from. I just cute. had to go with the huge boo. <laughs> it's amazing. Sis. It's just so random, so me to always have like stomach showing. So here's my way of having my stomach showing without having even yeah. tacky oversized Christmas sweater. I had to keep my extensions in and my nose ring. I had to keep it in for the vibe. But I love that this is oversized because I'm wearing little bike shorts, but you could just wear this as a little dress with mm -hmm. some boots. I'm warm, I'm comfy. Listen, I'm feeling this. You're feeling You cold. throw it on, yeah. you put some shoes on, yeah. and you just go. Mm -hmm. yeah. No effort, but at the same time, you like look put together. And it's fun to like show up to one of these parties and everyone is just dressed in some weird yeah. sweater that has some fun pun. It I want to go to all these parties now. I've never been to a Me Year's too. Eve, want to go, ugly Christmas sweater, holidays are coming up, can't yes. freaking wait. Yes. I want to go to the theme party that you just talked Me about. Too. Cause that sounds very interesting. We'll throw one. It will be the clever Christmas party. Yeah! <laughs> Did you guys have fun going to all these college parties with us? And should we do it again? And if so, which party should we go to? We need some theme ideas. Please let us know in the comments below. Cause we had a blast. And send us pictures if you've been to any of these parties. Oh Put them gosh, in below. Yes. Send them to us on Instagram. We'd yeah. love to see them. Yeah. This was so much fun. Guys, don't go anywhere. You know what to do. Click right here for more clever style and subscribe. We love having you here.